On this week's video fishing forecast, we have some good reports of larger catch and release stripers to the west with smaller fish to the east and on the north shore. The final regulations for striped bass and a preview of some of the great articles in the April issue of The Fisherman. All here at thefisherman.com. The Fishing News is sponsored by these fine partners. Two, one. Wow, we are in some crazy times, but as of now, we can still fish from the beach, shore, and private boats. Blackfish and flounder are now open, and stripers are only a few weeks away. The 2020 striper regulations are now official with a slot of no less than 28 total inches and no greater than 35 inches of total length. And that's for the marine waters south of the GWB, that's the George Washington Bridge. The season is from April 15th through December 15th with one fish per angler. In the Hudson River and its tributaries, that's north of the GWB, George Washington Bridge, the slot limit is 18 inches to 28 inches total length. That means no fish smaller than 18 inches or greater than 28 inches may be kept. The season is from April 1st to November 30th and the daily possession limit is one fish per angler per day. Now let's check in with senior editor, Fred Galifaro. Hey Tim, yeah, uh, you know, pretty fortunate here in New York that uh, fishing is still an option for us. Uh, still some good access, Thanks, thank God, you know, state parks are open. Uh, there's a lot of other bodies of water that are accessible. Uh, just keep in mind that you really have to adhere to the uh, CDC guidelines, keeping your distance from people. Uh, you know, just be smart and let's not abuse it, you know, Washington State, uh, they were promoting fishing, encouraging people to go fishing, and then uh, it just got out of control and they ended up banning all recreational fishing. Um, you know, Rhode Island's closed all their state, uh, state beaches and parks. Um, so, you know, let's be smart, uh, follow the guidelines, get your fishing in, don't make unnecessary stops, and, uh, you know, at least it adds a little bit of uh, sanity to what's going on around here these days. Um, a lot of questions about tackle shops being open, getting bait. Um, I do have it from a good source who uh, had appealed uh, the non-essential status and was told that they are non-essential, but uh, they could do curbside service through phone orders and credit cards and uh, deliver the bait, cur uh, bait or tackle curbside. So that is an option for tackle shops. Call your local tackle shop, see what their status is. Uh, you know, before you make any plans. Um, uh, DEC uh, just on Tuesday came out, uh, made it very clear that because uh, there were some questions for hire boats and guides, non-essential services, so there's no charters, no, no party boats and no guides, uh, at least through the end of the month anyway. Hopefully things get better soon. Uh, on the fishing front, a lot of people are fishing. Uh, there's a lot of small bass around the island, and uh, I'll just go through some of the brief reports I got, but you can see how widespread the action is. Uh, Jack, uh, Jack Hawley and Brandon Rizzuto, they had a nice pick of schoolies up in Oyster Bay on Saturday, and uh, they said the small bucktails were the ticket to that. Uh, Scott at East End Bait and Tackle, uh, good action with small bass in the Quo Canal on soft plastics. Uh, Richard Dix, Bait and Tackle in Mastic Beach, uh, school bass action under the Smith Point Bridge and also at the foot of Jefferson Avenue. Uh, Rich over at Lindenhurst Bait and Tackle, uh, some small bass off the Sable Dock over the weekend. And Rich, uh, I'm sorry, Bill, uh, Bill Witchie at Coombs over in Amityville. Uh, he knew of bass to 22 inches, taken on the Jones Beach Pier on white sluggos. And we had Kathy from Freeport Bait and Tackle, who knew of herring at Magnolia Pier, but also bass at Jones Beach and Green Island. Uh, so as you can see, pretty, pretty widespread. Um, over at Bernie's, the shop is closed, but uh, there's still good herring over on the Coney Island and Canarsie Piers. Mike at East Coast Bait and Tackle up on the North Shore uh, said uh, Little Neck Bay is getting good reports from, uh, good catch and release action, and also in Manhasset Bay. And uh, from Duffy's Bass to 30 Inches in the back of Hempstead Harbor, uh, over at uh, Cow Harbor in Northport, hearing of bass in Northport Harbor and Huntington Harbor. So 
like I said, there's there's a lot of widespread bass activity. It's all light tackle stuff, you know, small lures. Stick to single hook lures. Uh, yes, you know, you, you can catch them on, on the swimming plugs and stuff. But unless you, unless you switch the trebles to singles, I would stay with things like soft plastics on jig heads and bucktails. Single hook make it, makes it real easy to release these fish. Uh, uh, flounder and tock season opened yesterday on the 1st. Uh, you know, there should be some opportunities there for flounder, maybe the Quogue Canal, uh, maybe the Shinnecock Canal if you can outwit the seals. And uh, as far as blackfish, maybe some of the jetties uh, in the inlets, some of those rock piles, they might be worth a shot. Uh, just a reminder on the seasons there, flounder uh, run from April 1st to May 30th, two fish at 12 inches. Uh, blackfish, April 1st to April 30th, that's the spring season, two fish at 16 inches. The fall's a whole nother story, but you don't need that now. We'll get to that at another time. So listen, be safe, follow the guidelines, and uh, you know, let's try to keep our keep sane for the next next month or so. Hopefully it doesn't go too much longer than that. All right, God bless, take care. Back to you, Tim. From Shinnecock, we have Mike Dean. Thanks, Tim. Everyone, I hope everyone's getting by all right in uh, these really bizarre times. Uh, wishing you all the best for you and your family. If you are able to get out fishing, uh, there's a couple of small fish around be, uh, around the Shinnecock area, you know, in between Shinnecock and Mariches. And um, mostly have been the couple that I've gotten, I've only gotten two in the last like two weeks. White Bass Assassin, uh, just kind of like a slow retrieve couple of jerks uh, there's definitely a lot of bunker around uh, so usually some small bass underneath them and uh, you know something to take our minds off of all this uh, like I said hope everyone's well we'll be through this soon enough uh, it's glad to be back doing the reports and uh, if you can get some fresh air and get out there get out there all right let me know how you did any questions on fishing or anything my website should be below here and uh, most importantly stay safe best to you and your families if this social distancing persists, you're going to need a boat if you don't already have one. When we get the all clear, take a ride on a C-Pro powered by Suzuki. What better way to stay away from the crowds than being out on the water? Interest rates are low, so this is the right time to buy. Call Kale's Family Boating Center for a private test ride when it's safe to venture out. Let's check in with Captain Al Lorenzetti from the Great South Bay. Hey, Tim. Captain Al here, Great South Bay Report, and uh, <clears throat> not too much going on, but there's still a lot of small striped bass. Now I heard some caught in uh, the state boat channel, and a lot of adult bunker around in the bay. They were right here off of Babylon a couple of days ago, so I look forward to those big bluefish moving in pretty soon, probably towards the end of the month. So we'll see what's happening. Again, striped bass in the surf on the north side of the bay to the east and in the state boat channel. And that's about it, Tim. From Staten Island, we have Mike Sentry with reports of some larger fish. Coming out of Staten Island, the report on the Raritan Bay has been nothing but a miracle. Early season striped bass, tons of bunker out there. And these are nice sized bass. In the last few days, from starting from Friday to now, probably around 115 to 120 uh, bass have felt our hands usually a boat of three and uh, all catching catch and release uh, most of these bass been caught on stretch plugs jigging them the majority of the time and a few on troll there's been times where they don't want anything but the troll or the stretch 15s or 25s so you just can't go wrong this is the best time of the year get out there guys as you can see some of these pictures that Tim are posting right now it's just been a phenomenal year you cannot go wrong and like I always say let them big girls go so they could grow. There are our, our breeders, they're filled with the eggs this time of season. So do your part, let them go, let them grow, and it will continue to get better. So quite a few guys out there catching some nice 35 pound fish, uh, verified by the way. So take care guys, have a good season and uh, stay safe. Raul Ortiz, the urban angler, he was out earlier in the week fishing Staten Island. His first spot was loaded with bunker, but no bass. But the second location, it was lock and load with schoolies to 20 to 26 inches. The hot bait was bloodworms. Chris Ludwig has been working the ponds and lakes to the west and has this to report. Hey, thanks Tim. Good morning guys, hope you're doing well. So this last week we did a combination of freshwater and salt water, so let's get right into it. On the freshwater side of things, 
My girl and I were chasing these carp about five or six miles east of here in these very tight, shallow streams. So, since these carp are breeding, they're very into each other and not so keen on eating at all, from what I've observed. So we had to switch out our tackle from 10 pound test to 8 to 6, and at times lose the gamagatsus and drop down to panfish hooks. Uh, you get the idea, but we caught them on bread and we caught them on trout magnets too. Green and yellow trout magnets. It was very difficult to bait them with that, but it ended up working out. Also, largemouth bass. We're getting them on those gambler paddle tails again and spinner baits. You know, uh, like blue and white and gray and blue and just plain white. Basically, lighter colors seem to be doing it, in my experience, and from what I've seen guys throwing around me. Uh, what else? Saltwater. So, I haven't caught any striped bass yet. I've certainly been trying, but I know there's a charter captain out here that's been smoking them, which is really good to see because it's very close to my area. The striped bass are most definitely around. Another buddy of mine, Joey, went a little farther to the west and they hammered them. Preseason, all released, mind you. Uh, so things are looking good. There's a lot of bunker. There's a lot of smaller bait. I'm seeing spearing in the back bays, what I believe to be spearing. So everything is coming together, guys. I will see you out there. Take care. Blackfish season is open, so that means wreck fishing and the dreaded task of retrieving the anchor. No more. Check out easyanchorpuller.com. Joseph Benesavenga has been fishing Little Nick Bay with bass assassins and with a teaser and he's been catching the fish on the first of the incoming and having really good results. He's also tried darters, bucktails and pencil poppers but said the bass assassins were the ticket. The April issue of the Fisherman magazine is out now. There's a great article on where to find the early stripers and something that will be very popular this year is fishing from a kayak and Toby Lipinski has a buyer's guide and if you want to give flounder fishing a try Tom Melton has some great tips and what you need to know. This and more in the April edition of the Fisherman magazine. To view the magazine online the first thing you need to do is set up a user account if you don't have one already on the fisherman.com. Click on subscriptions then click create user account Fill in the info as it appears on your mailing label of your magazine. Then click Find Subscription and Complete by entering your email address and assigning a password. Now you're all set to view the digital editions. You can find the digital version of the magazine by clicking on Magazine, then Current Digital Editions, select your edition you would like to view, then click on the red box Already a Subscriber, then enter your email and password. Next, click on View Edition and the magazine will load in your browser. If you need to zoom in, select the magnifying glass on the bottom. You can also pinch and zoom on devices that support touch screens. If you have any issues, you can always call the fisherman at 866-347-4836 or email us at info at the fisherman.com. Remember, like our video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and tap on the bell to be notified instantly when we post a new video on YouTube. And of course, be a subscriber to the Fisherman Magazine to be part of the Dream Boat and Kayak Clash Contest. Check out this video's description on YouTube for all the related links and more information. And please, support our correspondents by visiting their websites and social media pages. Get outside if you can and start fishing and keep a safe distance. Let's keep our fishing open while we put a stop to this coronavirus. See you next week right here at thefisherman.com.